All right, so previously we finished off with the main feature overview. In this video, we're going to be going through the initial setup where I'm going to be explaining all the fields for the visual. Now, before that, I just wanted to quickly take you through the sample report. If you remember, in the introduction video, I mentioned that you have a sample report available for download. You can do that through the description below. Within the sample report, you're going to have two fields. You're going to have a training view and you're going to have a network view. So essentially what these allow you to do is the network view is always going to have a predefined variation of the chart that you can play around and explore all the fields and set up for it. Whereas the training view is something that we're going to be using whenever we're going to start building a new instance of the chart and going through the settings. And that's going to be what I'm going to be doing right now. So let's go into the training view and let's build the instance of the network visual. So click on the visual, let's resize it so we have a little bit more space, disable the background and the title, and let's go for the field setup. So the two mandatory fields that the visual have are nodes, which is going to be your columns, categories that you want to actually create the relationships for. And the setup for it is pretty simple. If I open up the table, you can see that all I have to do is, for example, drag in regions, drag in country. That's it. That's the way you create the hierarchy and extend the network. Now, the other mandatory field that you need to provide is a value. In this case, the field's called measures. So whatever it is, either it's just a regular column value field or it's a DAX measure, you can just provide it right here into the measure field. Now, once you do that, you can see that the chart is initialized and you have created your first instance of the drill down network visual. Now, the rest of the fields are completely optional. So if you don't need any further customization or data-driven things, you can just move on to the formatting options. But we're going to go through the rest of them so you know how to utilize them. So the next option you have here is image field. By providing data here, you can actually automatically activate images on top of the nodes. Now, something that's happening within the network visual is regarding the setup. So you can see, for example, that in these cases, we have some nodes which aren't actually showcasing the images properly. That is because the network visual works on a category-based setup. So when you're thinking about a row of data, the image is going to be applicable for all columns that are within it. This means that category-based customization needs to be used. In this case, in order to, for example, hide the North American flag, the EMEA flag, or APAC flag, I can go into the formatting options, open up Category 1 Customization, enable it first, open it up, and I'm going to disable images. So now we have an actually better representation of the chart because the images are only shown on the countries. Now, going back to the fields list, we have the node color field. Within the node color, you can predefine the colors directly from the data. And the values that you have here need to be provided either as a color name or an RGB code, or the last one, which I would highly recommend, is just a hex code. Main reason for that is because the Power BI built-in color picker also accepts these hex colors. So it's just going to be convenient to select and copy the colors if you have used them in previous reports. And the last thing that you have here are going to be regarding the links. You have the same link color, and also you can define the link labels numerical. So by providing values in the link label numerical, you can actually have values displayed on the links itself. So for example, in those cases where you're more interested in the actual relationship than the nodes at the end, you can highlight it by displaying a value on the connection and hide the values from the nodes. All right, that's going to be it for the initial setup, and I'll see you in the next video.